All right, today we're gonna to show you how to clean, fully clean out your big green egg, or whatever kind of Komodo style barbecue, barbecue you have with anything from anything you have on, on, on hand. Uh, trust me, uh, this is a very simple process. Don't, uh, don't try to get too technical with this thing. We are just gonna load up our big green egg with a whole bunch of extra wood we had on hand and put them all in the smoker. Get up the crank it open, crank it at a super high temperature and let it cook until it till it's out. So that's what we did and that's what we have here now. And here we go. Finally, the smoke has died down. We are pegged out well past 700 degrees. I call that probably at least 850, maybe nine. <clears throat> it's not ideal for anything other than burning out your big green egg. So this is just gonna go like this until it's done. Simple, easy thing to do. We'll come back to you when we're actually uh, at a lower temp. I'm getting a little hotter now, probably a little too hot, but we're just gonna let this thing ride out. Now I'm gonna burp it. And open her up. Whew, that is toasty. You can see it's already white, and that's exactly what we want to see. Now I'm gonna put, I forgot to put this in earlier, put the uh, put that in there too. That could be cleaned. Not sure how well you can see that, but the heat distortion is pretty fun to look at. There you go. <laughs> and a little lower now, we're actually now up down to 700. You can kind of see in there too. Nice and clean. Let's do a quick update here. You can see we are doing just fine. All that uh, white powder you can see is just every all the dirt that was there now cleaned off. And you can see too, uh, right here, looks like I'm gonna have to buy a new gasket. It, this has been the f first gasket we had with this guy, so and that was expected. Thanks, uh, neighbor's dog, for barking through the video. There we go. Again, this is obviously with it all cleaned out and put back together like you just saw. But you can see what normally we have down here, you're having that uh, all the buildup, all the, like, the, the fat drips off, meat, meat drips off and gets onto this deflector plate. That gets all filthy and down below too. You get a lot, a lot of ash buildup, but then also all the uh, cake residue from just a couple different smokes is going to really build up here over a long period of time. And then I want to clean this all out, which we did. 
and you got you use the shop vac, whatever you have on hand, to go and clean that out. Looks like I have a little crack there. I just have to tell bigger thing about that thing. Anyway, this is what we did. It's ready to go. I do this probably once a summer. Don't overthink this. One time a summer is probably good enough, if that. Of course, I'm probably barbecuing more than some people are. Some people, some people barbecue more than I do. Not competition, because if it was, everybody would win because we're outside barbecuing. And that's a good thing to do. So, till next time, everybody. Thanks you for watching. Have a great day. Keep barbecuing, America.